this is my automatic door lock system um, it is nano uh, Arduino nano based um, and the way it works is that you know this module here it has a knock sensor um, anybody who wants to enter into the house they will have to knock at, at the knock sensor in a particular knock sequence which is pre-programmed and uh, if the Arduino Nano here it detects the knocks and if it finds out that the knock is the correct sequence of knocks then that basically it, it, it commands this uh, servo to unlock the door um, but what I'm trying to do here is actually um, trying to measure the amount of current that it's, uh, it's it draws when it's operational um, the way I have coded it up is uh, that when it is uh, it it does not get any knocks for a few seconds uh, what it does is it goes into deep sleep mode and the deep sleep mode allows it to save power and, and the reason I'm trying to do it do this is because uh, I want it to run on a lipo battery uh, and I don't want to be charging it every day uh, so I want the lipo battery to last for as long as long as it can and in order to do that I have to make sure that the power that nano is consuming is is minimum possible um, so so what I'm trying to do here is to measure the current that it it takes when it goes into deep sleep so <clears throat> so I have this multimeter here which is set as an amp meter and I have the VCC, the power that come coming in, is split up into two so that I can put the amp meter in between. Um, so as soon as I'm going to connect it, it's going to power it on and we will be able to measure the amount of current that it's drawing. Um, as you can see, right now it's drawing about 16.5 milliamps. Um, but after some time, when it's not going to receive any knocks, it's going to go into deep sleep mode. Uh, so let's 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 wait for it. Um, wait uh, here. Here it goes. So the flash that you saw is an indication that it actually is going into deep sleep mode, and you can see the current uh, draw is dropped down to 7.1 milliamps at this point. Uh, so it's drawing 7.1 milliamps when it's in deep sleep mode, which is which is not bad. It's it's pretty good. Uh, but I was expecting that it's going to be less than that, you know, maybe in macro amps range or, or, or you know, maybe at most like a couple of milliamps or something. Um, I believe that most of the current consumption is coming from the LEDs, which are still on, even though it's in deep sleep mode. So, uh, you know, if I take it, take it off the deep sleep mode by knocking at the, oops, here we go. Um, so when I knock at this, uh, sensor it basically uh, get you know it, it gets awakened and it starts drawing uh, more current 16.5 milliamps as you can see uh, after some time it's gonna time out and it's gonna go back to deep sleep again here we go uh, and it drops down to 7.1 milliamps so uh, I guess it's uh, if I can uh, you know either desolder the LEDs or maybe you know remove the traces or cut the traces or something uh, to disconnect them so that they don't turn on when it's in deep sleep mode I'm pretty sure this is gonna drop at least by two or three or maybe even four milliamps uh, overall there are two LEDs which are constantly turned on so I guess I'll do that and see how that goes okay so I went ahead and used this box cutter to cut the traces and now the LEDs are not coming on so I am going to measure the current now this is the first time I'm doing it uh, let's see uh, after after I cut the traces uh, let's see how how much uh, current did we save so I'm gonna power it on it's uh, it's running a steady state oh so it dropped the steady state dropped from 17 to uh, 12.7 and let's wait for it to go down uh, because of uh, going into deep sleep mode uh, let's see let's see go 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 here we go <gasps> look at that it's almost halved actually less than half so the current draw now dropped to 3.2 milliamps that's awesome um, so just right there we just doubled the uh, battery life that's what I was expecting. Great. Awesome. Okay, so here's the closer look of uh, 
what I did. Uh, basically, uh, let me see if I can focus it well. Uh, I took the box cutter and simply cut it over here. You see the LEDs? Let me focus it again. It just keeps on getting out of focus. Um, I cut the, I made draw a line with the box cutter uh, between the LEDs and the resistors. So you can see these are the LEDs and these are the resistors. And I need to cut the power and the transmit LED. Um, so, because um, those were the ones which were constantly lighting up. Um, so just just take the box cutter and draw a couple of lines uh, through here and and then try it out and just turn it on and see if they're still lighting up and they were still lighting up and then you draw a couple of lines again and then try it on again. You don't want to ha have too deep of a cut that you might cut some other trace underneath. Um, you just want to cut on the surface. Uh, you can, if you look very closely, I don't think we can see it here, but... Uh, if you look very closely, you can see the traces going through the LED and the resistor. And you just cut it and, and you know try it again and then cut it and try it again. I think I had to do it like a couple of times and then and then that's it. I mean, it, it stopped uh, lighting up. Uh, so that's all you need to do.